Gambling is never a smart idea, but it sure is fucking fun. Bender's MC is free to play on both Java and Bedrock. Join the server and begin your journey to master all four elemental powers in Minecraft today. If you need help connecting, make sure to join our Discord. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, what is up, guys? We are back with episode three of the Bender's MC Let's Play series. So today we're going to be using firebending. That's going to be the elements of the day. Cool. Check this out, guys. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. And we also got, can't forget about this one. Ooh, isn't that cool? Ooh, oh, wait. Speaking of, look at the base. I've done work on it. I think last episode I was talking about that tree farm I wanted to build. And I did it. So wait here, actually. Let's uh, go up to the top here. All right, cool. So I've got more framework for... That is annoying. I've got more framework for uh, stuff up here. Don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. Okay, so a few interesting things happened. First of all, I bought a beacon off of Auction House, but as luck would have it, my own server shit it out, and that got rolled back like five minutes after I bought it because of like a restart or something, right? So, however, that data was gone, but the money I spent was still spent, so I, I lost some money. However, if we check our balance. I have $158,000, which is definitely more than last episode. And I'm thinking that some people have just been donating to me a little bit. Because I haven't done a lot of selling. I definitely hung out with a few people and someone gave me like a bunch of these emeralds. I also have three wither skeleton skulls, so we can like fight the wither at some point, which is dope. Um, which is literally just how we can get a beacon for free. Yeah, so another thing about firebenders is that they take fall damage. All right, pretty much everywhere. It's kind of like waterbenders, but uh, waterbenders don't take damage on waterbendable blocks, which includes like leaves and ice. So I got myself a pair of feather falling four boots. I went out and I seeked the enchanting thing, fucking book, and I bought myself one. Uh, I don't have any enchantments on the pickaxe or the sword yet. Oh, you know what? Let's get an enchanting table in here. Oh, you know, it looks like somebody paid a visit to my base. And they made this because no one else has built anything else around here right however i noticed this pop up a few days ago but there's no like message or anything it's just this little wooden dude uh, you know i guess i guess that's cool there we go enchanting table acquired okay is this shit gonna be level 30. oh well no i fucked it up Yes, okay. You see, I finessed it anyway. Hmm. You know, what I've been what I've been wanting to try as a money-making method is the casino. And I've made videos about this and the many casinos on Bender's MC. But I want to visit one firsthand as like a player, and I gotta toggle my vending. This shit is getting so annoying. Yep, okay. Here we go. The holy casino. And we got this giant Plinko machine, which doesn't even render in because there's just so much redstone. I'm like literally lagging here, guys. Oh, yeah, and here we go. How, how do I do this? Oh, man. How do I do this? Jackpot counter. Get all the lights turned on to win. You get more. Oh, you get more lights turned on every time you get plus one. Winning pays 5k per row. How do they do that? How's that like a payout? Okay. Dude, oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Two million dollars. Elytra. Founder kit, enchanted book, emerald blocks, diamond armor. Th yeah, these are some pretty sick prizes. Like, they gotta have, you know, some pretty wealthy players funding this operation. Like, look at this. This is so tall. And it's all closed in. Like, you know, uh, you can only see the sky because this shit just hasn't rendered. It's just so massive. Okay, I want to do this. This is this is awesome. Okay, play Plinko here. Okay, these guys are absolutely loading my inventory through the roof. Stop giving me random shit. All right, let's uh, get rid of something. Oh, someone gave me new armor. That's dope. Thanks for the new armor. Thanks. All right, all right. I want to do Plinko now. Oh, okay, so it locks you in here to give you your prize when you're running it. Okay, so it starts from there. What are we gonna get? Diamond armor or tools, extra price. God damn it, let's play again. Y'all can have that, and that, and that too. Oh, it's time. 
Oh, okay, it's going down the left this time. The left has really, really good prizes. Oh, holy shit, what is that? Oh, it's an enchanted book. I wonder who got that. Oh, 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 it's time. I just, I love this so much. And this one works so well, too. Okay, it's going down the middle. Oh, my gosh. It's just, too, okay. I, yeah, okay, I got a little overhyped. Dude, okay, I, I see why so many of these casinos are built. Like, this is fun, bro. This is fun. Thank you. Someone gave me the Emerald Blocks. That's awesome. I'm going to donate them to villagers in need. Okay, what, what do we get? Oh, uh, okay, we got the sand prize. God damn it. Yeah, you know, honestly, I thought a machine like this would have, like, a ton of issues. I am genuinely surprised at how well this thing works and is holding up. It's easy to see, you know, exactly what you get from, you know, within here, all that. And, you know, it's reasonably priced, too. I mean, to play, it's $10,000, but, you know, the the prices are loaded. Like, no matter what you get, you're getting some good shit. Again, gambling is never a smart idea, but it sure is fucking fun. Like, I'm not even here to get, like, prizes. Like, I'm more just, like, fascinated by how it works. Like, I'm just, like, obsessed with this entire contraption. The concept of it is really simple, but, like, you know, my little builder brain just doesn't know shit about redstone. What is this? Sell station. Oh, so wait, you can just sell the things that you make to get a cash prize. Oh, that's, that is interesting. It lags a lot here, but, man, it is, uh, it is a fun time. And as you can see, you know, there's a bunch of people here. I mean, I've been here and people watching. Like, I saw them, like, start building this, and I was like... This looks like, you know, some sort of, like, casino resort, and it just totally is. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Black Diamond from GTA. There's, like, a bunch of other stuff here, too. Like, uh, I kind of want to check out Roulette. Okay, payouts. Okay, I know how to do Roulette, so I'm going to pay this dude $20,000. Black and even numbers. Roll this shit for me. How does this work? Like, is there something I should be looking at? Should I be walking on top of the Roulette table? This guy is inside the roulette table. The dealer is the ball. Oh, that is interesting. I see how this works now. Right there. $40,000 I got from this dude who owns the casino. Because I gave him $20,000 and I put it on black. That's that's like a 100% a return. Okay, so wait. Are these like slot machines? Whoa. One in nine chances of winning a million dollars. But to play... It's $125,000. My balance right now is $155,000. So if I were to do this once, I would have like a 12% chance of being a millionaire. Like right now. However, the odds are against me here, man. Because I will go like, I will become dirt poor if I do this. And you know, not that a little begging couldn't fix that. Because anyway, this is cool. Love the Plinko machine. Love the roulette thing. I'm sure this is cool too, but I'm too poor to afford that. This place has got a downstairs too. Let's check it out. Dude. This is so cool. It's got like fish tanks in the wall. It's like an actual casino resort. If you see back here, yeah, you can see behind the Plinko machine. Some of it at least. Work in progress. Should This is, uh, oh yeah, you see, look at that. I got special treatment. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, dude, this place feel, this, this place feels so grand. Like, I feel like I'm in Las Vegas right now. Like all these Greek columns and shit. Oh, boy oh boy this oh man oh this is unhealthy man oh dude what is this oh okay 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 i get it it's because he's just putting it there because it's not operational yet whoa you know they should really put they should like name these in the oh they do yeah you see always one step ahead of me so that's five thousand dollars so I, I assume these are going to be like low cost that is uh really cool and so this is uh some sort of an arena let me in. Let me through. Oh, what the hell? Is this a door? Since when do we have glass door? I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Okay, so this has got to be just like a bending arena. And like, I guess, you know, because it's a casino, people are just going to make bets here. I mean, clearly, it's clearly unfinished. Can't tell. Is that the night sky or is that like black concrete? Oh, that's concrete. If I give a better overview of what this whole place looks like. Okay, without totally killing myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to. Check it out. This place is absolutely massive. Not something to joke about. Let me go over this thing. 
And yeah, if you see over here on the ceiling, you can see all the all the rooms they're building and working on. Oof, I got some creepers down there. Actually, you know what? Here, let's hit him with some of his own medicine. Yep, get shit on. Not sure what this is or what this floor is going to be. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Is this just like... Oh, dude, this has got to be like the grand office. Like, this has got to be like where he works. Like, there was that one South Park episode where uh, they go to that Native American casino and they were like up in that place talking about how they were going to build like a, like a super highway through South Park, you know, from Denver so they could make like, I, I, I don't know, like some satire crap. But, you know, this room just reminds me of that. How they had like this big glass thing overlooking, well, you know, some of the casino. Yeah, because they're clearly still building this thing up. Like, this is definitely not a finished project, which is, you know, awesome. <sighs> Saved my fall there. Ooh. Do you want to see it from this side? Dude, oh my god, man. Isn't this a sight to behold? Here, wait, here, let me take a, here, let me take a, a photo for my mom. It's the Holy Casino, I guess. Uh, his, his theme is, is holy, man. Not gonna lie, dude, when I'm in there, I feel like I'm in fucking heaven. So, great name. <laughs> it definitely lives up to its name. Hmm, home sweet home. I still spawned underneath the base. So, while it's just a little bit hard to calculate since I didn't have a bunch of permissions there, which isn't because... A normal player wouldn't have permissions there but it's because i just have different permissions because you know i own the server uh and i couldn't spend money on stuff now i did reimburse a few people on the money that they spent for me on the plinko machine what i got from that is a bunch of this armor here right even some more stuff people were just begging to give me that because you know I, at first i just thought people were being nice to me and then i just realized that like the prizes from this plinko machine were dope so i got like literally all of this crap for like 10 20k and my balance i went in there with about i think 155 thousand dollars that's what it was at the beginning of the episode and right now i left with 206 thousand, which is because i gave i some uh, people gave me like a few thousand dollars but not that many but i got i i put that twenty thousand dollar bet on the roulette table and that got me forty thousand dollars back it feels good when gambling works but please guys in real life do not gamble this is a minecraft server this is all fun you know y'all are creative love to see these casino type things but now i have a bunch of money and we can start doing more for the house first of all i'm going to get all my things organized into these shulkers because i have way too many things on my hand okay i've decided that i want to max out my armor set all right and i went to that XP farm that I like, and I'm going to get some XP. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are level 30, which means we can go home. Okay. This place is called the Giga Market, and I really hope where one of the largest shops on all of S1. Oh, thank God, I need a lot of shopping to do. Okay, so is this like a just like a strip mall or something? Giga Market Bar must be 21 years. Finally, something I'm allowed to do. No shot, this guy's 21. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I see your ID? Oh, they are not screwing around. They're actually uh, they're actually running a bar here. I, but this, I mean, this is crazy though. Like two thousand dollars for one beer. I don't even, like, I didn't even know there was beer in Minecraft, let alone on my server. But, you know, $2,000, still outrageous. I think we found what we're looking for. I do. Oh, this is, okay, this is the place. This has got to have what I need. Yes, there's my other place. Alright, $3,000 for that. Wow, that was, that was a lot of work for some feather falling, but... I've, uh, got a lot more things to do. It seems like those... Unbreaking three books are a little rarer than I thought. Oh wait, we didn't even check auction house. Let's see No unbreaking three god damn it you know, I gotta I gotta get a better way to make money All right, I can mine some more granite, but I want to get I want to get automatic farm set up I want to industrialize a little bit. I think that's gonna be smart, but oh, yeah We should probably get an anvil over here. So let me craft the shit out of that I don't really know where I want this to go, so I'm just going to put it, like, here for now. Worth it. 
holy fucking shit, I forgot about this. Oh my god. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I, can't, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's been like a week since I made the last episode, so... Um, and I've just been like, I, I've just been busy as shit, so, you know, I actually kind of forgot about that. I've been logging on every once in a while, but not, like, doing Let's Play stuff, just, like, doing my job. Um, I'm gonna name this Pufferfish, I'm gonna name him Frank. And I'm gonna sell Frank on the auction house for, well, it's a very rare species of Pufferfish, so. Okay, I'm gonna sell this guy for... $250,000. Okay, I just listed it for $25,000. Okay, it was troll anyway. So, uh, if any of you guys want to pick up Frank on the auction house, help me out with uh, 25k, that, that'd be awesome. You know, I think that is unfortunately going to wrap up today's episode. I'm going to end the episode by farming some of these trees because I need to do that. Now, I'm trying to be more consistent with the Let's Play content because honestly, I've been really enjoying making these. I've been a little lazy recently with making them. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do that more often, you know, especially getting closer to the holidays where you know, hopefully I'll have a little more time. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna try and get some work done on the base while I'm gone. Uh, also, you know, this little mysterious piece of something. I don't know if this is like a message to me or something or what it is, it just sort of popped up near my base. Um, other than that, it doesn't look like anyone has found me yet, which is sort of nice this sort of speaks for how big this server is like how big this world is a lot of people complain about how small and you know destroyed it is like dude i'm totally just away from society here except for that that kind of scares me also guys if you want to join the server and play with me you can join on java and bedrock and if you need help connecting just join our discord the ip is play.bendersmc.co and it works on both java and bedrock same ip i'll see you guys later